All right, guys, so we've gone around, we've, we've laid out all our wire um, from each fixture. We've made sure to leave a lot of extra wire at every single fixture, so that way if we ever need to move it, um, it just gives us some play, and we got some extra wire to splice into and stuff. It's the biggest mistake most people make, is they use those cheap clips, um, and they don't leave any slack whatsoever, and it just kind of bites into the wire. And if you ever have to make a repair, you can't, and all of a sudden you gotta cut your wire back and cut your wire back and then you've got two or three extra connections that you don't need it's just more chance for them to fail so, um, so yeah leave lots of extra wire to to wire your lights is actually really simple every every light's gonna have two wires coming off of it and your 12 2 wire obviously has two wires so you have your wire coming in you want to split those and just take off you know maybe about an inch off the end of each one um, just with your wire cutters, and then you've got your line that's going out to the next fixture. I like using these. These are the BVS2 snap lock connectors that we talk about. Um, they're gel filled, so they help keep the water out. They also clamp down on the wire, so it keeps them from pulling apart over time, which is um, that's the number one. Uh, that's the number one thing that happens when there's a bad break. The wires just come out, a light stops working, and then you got to dig it up. And again, if it's not. Um, if you didn't leave enough wire, then it becomes a major pain in the butt. So I like using these, but even with those, I still like wrapping um, a little bit of electrical tape around the end just to give it that extra little bit so we know that they're not going to come apart. But uh, really simple. Again, we've got our wire coming in, our wire going out, and then we've got two wires from our fixture. We're going to take one of those and we're going to just stick them in the ports at the bottom of our snap lock connectors. There's three holes, there's three wires. It's pretty simple. Put them in. Snap it tight. And then, like I said, I like to just put a little extra electrical tape. You probably don't need to, um, but I always rather be safe than sorry. So I'll just put a little bit uh, along the base. Just to keep that nice and tight. You don't have to go around the whole thing because again, these are waterproof. And you're going to do the same thing with your second set of wires. You'll have your wire coming in, your wire going out, and then your other fixture wire. So wire those up, then once you've got all your lights wired, go fire on your transformer. Make sure everything's looking, or everything's working, and then come back at night. See how everything looks before you go and start burying all the wire. Uh, and with all the extra wire you have, basically just roll it up. And because I dug a nice big hole, there's lots of room to stuff that down there and bury it up and we're all set.